don't, don't call me Superman if you haven't found my kryptonite. What is going on YouTube? It is the Big K Cops 360 here. And look, in the past few days, Microsoft has been talking about using, you know, AMD and Intel and NVIDIA GPUs together. Now, of course, when I say Intel GPUs, I'm talking about Intel's, you know, the iGPUs, the integrated graphics, Intel HD graphics, Iris Pro and whatnot. But pretty much, look, they've been going out and saying that, look, with DirectX 12, it's much easier for developers if they can be bothered or if they want to do so, they can, they can theoretically allow uh, simultaneous use of AMD and NVIDIA, AMD and Intel, NVIDIA and Intel, you know, whatever combination you want to throw together of, you know, GPUs, you can use them together with DX12 and you can get better frame rates, obviously you get better performance because obviously if you're using more graphics power, you're chucking more GPUs at it, man, then you're obviously getting more fucking power. So look. Pretty much, they've got like a little chart here. I might bring it up. I'm not sure if I should, but it pretty much explains how it works. So you've got the like the main GPU and it's processing a frame, and then the other GPU is processing like a like a copied kind of frame thing. Look, I can't explain it. I'm not a genius on it, so I'm not gonna try to explain it. But pretty much, the ability to use AMD and Nvidia GPUs together are uh, not really like crossfire. It doesn't really work like that on like SLI. It's not really like that. Kind of its own little thing. But look, let's get let's let's get straight to the point. Let me get to the issues with this. Now, when I say issues, I'm not talking about the issues of the actual concept because obviously that's fucking sick if you can use AMD and Intel GPUs or Nvidia GPUs together. You don't have to chuck out your old GPU anymore. You can keep it. Fucking chuck the other one in there. Let's fucking get more cores, man. Let's get more GPU cores, more fucking frame rates, man. More FPS. That's what we want. But you see, guys, the problem is, look. <laughs> When we talk about AMD, firstly, I'll preface this and I'll say that AMD is less likely to do this, okay? They're less likely to do what I'm about to say. But the big issue with this whole thing is that how are these companies really going to allow this? Like, I, honestly, think about it. And when I say this, I'm referring more, more towards NVIDIA. I don't really know about Intel, but more towards NVIDIA. Is NVIDIA in particular going to allow this? Because look guys, everyone knows that when it comes to AMD and Nvidia, Nvidia is definitely more like, these guys are like, cut back man, they're like, we'll make our own shit and you'll pay for it, like, it's hard to explain, you guys know AMD is more open about this shit, they're more open source, they're kind of more for the community, pushing shit forward, Nvidia is more like, look, we'll, we'll give you some really high quality shit, but man, we're, you're gonna fucking pay for it. It's proprietary. It's ours, man. It's ours and ours only. So, is NVIDIA really gonna allow something like this to just slide? I mean, there's so many ways they can block this. They can block it through drivers. They literally just cannot make it possible. I mean, a motherboard manufacturer is even gonna let this happen. I mean, you need to get SLI and Crossfire certification. Like, how's this even gonna go down? Now, of course, for the consumer, this is a very good thing, but it's all about adaptation by the hardware manufacturer. Honestly, are they really going to let this happen? I'm hoping they do. I, I'm, I'll be honest with you. I really hope they do let this happen, but will they? I mean, it's a tough question to ask. Now, I'm not saying that, look, NVIDIA is going to cock block or maybe or AMD is going to cock block and you're not going to let it happen. Uh, I might be completely wrong, but trust me, it's not going to be as simple as it looks. Microsoft is very uh, positive about it. They're very enthusiastic. And so is, the, so is the general public, you know, the general PC population. They're, they're hyped about this. I'm hyped about this. But looking at it realistically, man, is this really going to happen? Is this really going to be put into practice? The day that you can use an AMD and NVIDIA GPU, like, properly, like, legitimately, no bullshit fucking behind the scenes, like, legit, with proper drivers, everything works and it's endorsed or it's supported by the companies, when that day comes, then we'll see, but for now, this is more just, it's like a theory, man, like, we need to actually see it happen. Now, of course, before I stop, uh, this, this is something that would work probably better with, uh, say, I have integrated graphics pretty much. Say an AMD fucking GPU and Intel like Iris Pro or something. Intel HD graphics. I could see it working like that much easier, especially with Intel in the mix. But when we talk about straight out AMD NVIDIA, oh fuck man, I don't know. It's really hard to say. But anyway guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And comment down below what you think. Is this really 
like a possibility that's closer than I think it is. Like, are we actually very close to seeing this happen? Who knows? Thank you for watching. I'll be. Uh, oh fuck! I fucked that up. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.